So as I said before, week number one, week number two, they look the same, but in fact, they are the same week, but with a slight difference in color. Week number one is more platinum, and week number two got more tones of red and yellow. And all began when I decided to change the color of this old wig of mine. I wanted something more uh, darker, something like honey a kind of color. And uh, I want to do something like natural. I didn't want to go out, buy stuff and spend money. So I was watching YouTube and I found some people dyeing their wigs with coffee. So that's why I decided. This is my first attempt. And uh, I got a little bit of the effect I wanted, but not entirely. So today's video is about my first attempt dyeing my wig with coffee. Now I know you're very curious about it, so let's get this video started. For my first attempt, I boiled 2 liters of water and now I'm adding 5 soup spoons of ground coffee. I'm giving it a good stir. And before the coffee starts to pour, I turn off the heating. And I will leave it resting for about half an hour. Half an hour later, my preparation is cooler and the coffee is settled. Now I will transfer the coffee to another pot and I will do it by pouring the coffee till I see the grounded coffee on the bottom. And that's enough, you don't need the rest. And now in a very gentle and kind way, I will drop my wonderful platinum wig into this black coffee. Yeah, don't be afraid, go for it. Now the coffee is still hot, but you know it's not boiling anymore. And I left my wonderful wig there for 12 hours. Yes, 12 hours. And after 12 hours, as you can see, the wig got already a little bit more of red and yellow tones. Now it's time to rinse the wig. And I decided to do that in my bathroom because working with coffee can be very messy, as you can see. In order to rinse your wig, you're gonna need several buckets of cold water. Now you got your we rinse it and you got rid of all the coffee you're gonna drop for the last time in a bucket full of cold water and you're gonna add some softener you know for fabrics and by doing that you're gonna get rid of this coffee smell and I left my wig there resting for half an hour so after that you're gonna rinse your wig several times like four or five times always with cold water and I'm afraid I'm done. Now you just find a place to leave your wig there resting and getting dry. And that's it, the final result. Well, I was expecting a little bit darker, but this is what I got for my first attempt. I hope you did like it. Well, I must tell you, from platinum to kind of reddish tone and all this using coffee. Can you imagine? Well, I was very curious about it and I uh, was very happy to do it. And you know what? This is very ecological, it's cheap and as I told you, it's a lot of fun because you're doing something yourself. Another cool thing about it is uh, you don't have to use those chemicals, you know, strong products. On the contrary, you're using something very, very natural. Coffee! So next time I'm gonna do my second attempt. This time I'm going to use instant coffee and a lot of it. And hopefully my wig will become finally honey blonde. But for that, you must stay tuned to this very channel. And I bet you couldn't believe that one day you could dye a wig with coffee. <laughs> I did and worked. So now my darlings, I hope you did like this video. If you did, please don't forget to thumb it up, share it if you loved it, and don't forget to subscribe. Like this, you can follow my work. So thank you for watching, you play safe, stay safe, and I see you very, very soon. Take care, bye!